Hey guys, Octus Man again here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the best tier 5 tank in the game, the KV-1. This is the absolute best tier 5 tank there is in World of Tank Splits. It's absolutely amazing. At least once you upgrade it, you know, like when you first start out, it's not as good, but still amazing. So let's jump right into the info. This tank is 778 points when fully upgrade. When you start out, it'll only have 720. The front is 75 and sore the sides, and the rear is 70. Turret armor when fully upgraded is 110 all around. Weight is 49.00 tons. The engine power is 500 horsepower. Speed limit 34 kilometers per hour. Traverse speed 20. Turret traverse speed 20. So it's not that good, but it's still it's still good. Standard shell damage with um, the, the 76 millimeter gun I have mounted is 150 to 250. Standard shell penetration is 90 to 150. Rate of fire rounds per minute is 7 exact rounds per minute. Aiming time is 2.9 seconds. Dispersion at 100 meters is 0 0.2, 0 0.42 meters. View range is 220 meters. So if we go into the upgrades, you'll start out with this gun right here. Nope, you'll start out with this gun right here. And it'll do 120 to 200 damage and 64 to 107 millimeters of penetration. You'll also start out with this turret, which is not that good. You definitely have to upgrade this, guys. You definitely have to upgrade it. I have the oh, 85 millimeter gun. Excuse me. I meant 85 millimeter gun. I did not mean to say 76. The 76 millimeter gun is this one right here, which is still kind of nice, but it doesn't. That's what you start out with. I'm sorry for saying what I said earlier. So this gun right here, um, the 85 millimeter gun, is really really nice, and I definitely suggest everybody saving up for it. it Cost four thousand something. Um, it's really nice though. The engines, if you upgrade the engines, it's not going to do that much. You upgrade the tracks, you definitely need to upgrade the tracks. It's really awesome. And if you get this tank and you're just like, you know what, I want to go right to the next tank, then I would definitely suggest either going with, I definitely suggest going with KV, uh, I mean the T-150. And just look at this tank. It's a boss, and I like it. So, I have... The ammunition that I have is 61 AP rounds, 15 high explosive rounds. It works. My consumables, I have the multi-purpose restoration pack, the extra combat rations, and the repair kit. Definitely would suggest that. For equipment, I have the heavy spall liner, which just basically allows 15, plus 15% to armor protection from ramming and explosives. Um, I have the camouflage net, because this tank's really, really slow, and you have to stop every once in a while. Minus 25% to visibility when the tank is stationary. Really awesome. One of my favorites right there. And, of course, my all-time favorite, the medium caliber tank gun rammer. Minus 10% to loading time. I went, I mean, like, you guys can get it, but it's not exactly needed. So let's go right into a battle. Alright, today we are in Winter Malinovka. The other team has Churchill 1, PZ4, DW2, M3 Lee, Matilda, PZ38NA, and a T28. We have a Churchill 1, a KV1, which is me, an M4, a DW2, an M3 Lee, a Matilda, and a Matilda. Matildas are OP. I'm just going to say that right now. They're OP. They really are. So just that we'll get this tank, it looks pretty awesome, I think. And as you can see, it doesn't, I mean like, it turns kind of slowly and it is a little bit slow. But it's a fantastic heavy tank. It's worth going from the T-28 to KV-1, it really is. It's just that amazing. T-28 stinks, by the way, guys. Alright, so I'm just going to like, let this thing drive. I'm going to head up here, toward the windmill, 
it's always a good place to head. Um, I wouldn't go where that Matilda's going, I don't know what he's doing, but he's the only one over there. He's probably going to get killed right away. That DWE2 is in a good position, if you ask me. Um, I actually have the Churchill. It's a really, really slow tank, but a really, really nice tank. I definitely recommend it to anybody who, um... Okay, so the air team knows that we're here. I definitely recommend the Churchill to people who like having, who like heavies, who just like dishing out a good amount of damage, but being able to take a good amount in return. That is the highest amount of health you can get at tier 4, I mean tier 5. And I'm actually going to turn this way, because I do not want to get in the face of that battle. Like, dude, stupid Matilda. What? Come on, are you trying to do this? Okay, good. Stay out of my way. His M3 Lee just got demolished. He just got served. And I'm actually going to try and... Took out that guy. PC-30 and a... He's going to need some addressing. Yeah, how you doing? Ooh, this is glitching out right now. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you try you trying to do that? Well guess what it won't work. Oh come on, you stole my kill. I did all that for you guys and you stole my kill. Great job guys. Took them out on the run. They're gonna go after this Matilda. I just wanna you guys notice how many bounces I'm taking right now. I'm taking a ton of bounces. Holy snap, that was all me, that was fantastic. And I just got hit by this DW2 over here. Oh, I guess I didn't. Well, I got hit by somebody. Fire. 201 damage. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Hit him again. 205 damage. There's an M3 lead down here, I think. Let me check. Yeah, the other team has PZ4. And an M3 Lee. Two hundred fourteen damage. That is a really good amount of damage right there. And I'm gonna charge after this guy. Well, never mind. So I don't know where this other M4 could be. So I'm actually gonna go and cap the base. I have no idea what this Terminator guy is saying. Oh, he's right over there. Oh wow, okay, yeah, I'm definitely charging after him. I want him. Yeah, he knows he's in deep trouble. That ain't gonna save you, bro. That ain't gonna save you. So then I'm just gonna snipe you. Stupid. Just gonna snipe you from up here then. <laughs> Oh, hey, actually did damage to me. Good for you. I'm sorry, but this is your last day. Goodbye. Booyah. Three kills with the KV-1. Bounced a ton of shots, and I was just under half health. Love it. La 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 love it. Love this tank. And we, with the times three, we got 2,214 um, XP, and we got 20,167 credits. Without premium. Ooh, we actually got a few medals. I'll probably do some metal things later. Um, I am going to go jump into another battle, but I am going to pause it right now. And I will get back to you guys. Alright guys, I'm back. I just decided to upgrade my Churchill a little bit. Um, it's doing pretty nice. I just upgraded the crew. I had 53% crew and I upgraded to 75. So let's jump right into another battle. Here. Let's go boss some people. Ooh, ooh, this is gonna be hard. The other team has a Black Prince, IS, SU 152, KV 1S, KV 1, um, an SU 85, a T1 Heavy, and we are in dead rail right now. So this is gonna be a little hard. I'm gonna go up to my favorite sniper position. Just because. I don't get why people are doing that. I mean, like, they put on, like, really 
short guns, and I call them derp guns, because they just do a ton of damage if you can pierce, but if you can't pierce, they take forever to reload, and you can't really do anything. I really don't understand them. I don't like derp guns. Okay. Going up this hill with the KV-1S and another KV-1S. Two KV-1S's. I didn't know we had two KV-1S's. Pretty cool tanks. Well, actually, now I'm kind of glad that that guy has a dirt gun instead of that gun. Because that means we have, like, different firepower. So we can take out more people. If you're a really fast tank, then this is like the perfect place for you. Because you can go up here. If I can get up here, then I will. But you basically can go up here, and you can just like wreck havoc. You see if I can get up here. Come on. Come on. Do it for the line. Yes, I can get up here. So this is, this is just a plain good place for anybody. I really like it though. Let's see if we can just like... Oh, no, okay, he's gonna look right at me. There's a Black Prince right here, Matilda Black Prince. I mean, not Matilda Black Prince, I mean, you, you guys know what I mean. It's Black Prince. I was not able to hit him, but this Black Prince is really annoying me because I can't get, can't get a shot at him. So let's see if we can get up this, another level up, to see if I can, like, Yes, I can. Can't get another level up. Sadly, if you're in this, you can't angle your armor. So, that's just the one downfall. Oof. Yeah, I can't pierce that Black Prince, and I wasn't going to take a hasty shot at that other guy. There's a T1 Heavy right here. If he pops his little armor right there, I'll shoot him. Aha! You pop your armor out. Of course, the box was right there to save you. And high S. Like, these guys are giving me a really hard time, so I can't get a reading on any of them. Hey, fire. Uh, I am sorry, guys. I'm gonna X out right now. Um, it's gonna glitch. So, um, I will be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Um, I had a giant glitch. It happens every once in a while, and it kind of ruined the video. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to X out of the whole entire thing. So you, got, you know, so you guys don't have to see all that going down. Because I do not want to get hit again. They're trying to capture the base. There's someone over here right now. So I'm going to... Oh, I see you. I was not able to hit him. Shoot. Alright, I did hit him, but, um... I guess it didn't want to stop base capture. Yeah, this isn't going to end well, guys. I'm sorry. This is definitely not going to end well. One, two, three. Yep, I noticed. Yeah, this ain't going to turn out well. Yep. Okay, guys. That is it for this video. I am off to this man. And please watch more of my videos. Because I am just getting used to doing YouTube. And I really want more people to watch my videos. Leave comments, guys. Love comments. Haven't gone very many, but still love comments. See you later, and goodbye.